Good morning. We are back at it today. Uh, I was about to do a bit of a dirty on you and just crack on, but no, pick up the camera, let everyone know. This bit of ply is going to be for this cabinet that I'm, sorry, this cabinet that I'm putting across here. Uh, just trying to wrap my head around it. I've put this back in, well it's not in, in, but I'm putting this back in just because I think it will be handy for inside the camper. You can put your drinks and, I don't know, maybe your phone or something to charge overnight. So I'm going to put that back in and so what I've done with this square has basically gone up to this point just so I'm not interfering with the cup holder or anything like that. So that's where I'm gauging where this cabinet's going to come to. Um, and I put this trim in as well and it is bang on on here. So I've gone from there up to that square and that's my size. So now I'm just going to put this sheet in and try and scribe it around everything which is going to be a lot of back and forward back and forward cool right time lapse time <laughs> So I did say I was going to put this right up against the wheel arch because I didn't want to lose the space here. However, the wall's pissed if I go right up against the wheel arch and obviously up against here. I could shorten this down because obviously the wall goes, dips in. So eventually it would become level. But the first thing that I thought of is if the wall's pissed and you pull down this table here, to do your laptop or eat your dinner, your plate's just going to fall on your lap. So really this has to be, I keep saying level, level is the wrong word, square with the floor is what I should be saying. It has to be square with the floor. But there's still lots of room here if I do put it like this, square with the floor. don't hate it, obviously you've got more storage in there. So just to recap, I was going to put a fold down door here, so you've got storage inside, one underneath it, because you'd have storage before the wheel, oh, sitting on the wheel arch and coming up, you'd have a bit of storage. I might sketch it out now, and then I'll probably have a better idea. Going for a small little cabinet at the top which could be pulled down you've got a nice desk as you can see i've got quite a bit that i haven't you know i could have brought it over a little bit but i thought for the size of like a desk and for you to easily sort of get round i think that's a really good size and inside i can have little storages i can have little storage shelves inside it uh, so everything's sort of kept to the side you can maybe put some nets on the back wall for a bit more storage and then below here it's much bigger i've gone down the wheel arch is here but yeah i've brought it all the way down to here so you can maybe just stuff some stuff in front of it so yeah if that was a big door and it came down it's gonna take up a lot of space so i'm either thinking i'll just throw some bungee cord across it and do that sort of storage i could have two sliding doors could do it that way however that would be more ply because what i cut out 
you need the doors to be slightly bigger for it to work. Um, I'm very limited on ply. This is the ply that's left over from uh, Kevlar's build. So I am half tempted to do like a sort of bungee or mesh uh, cover, maybe even like a, a mesh on the outside and you can just unclip it here, get to everything inside, pop up, put it all back up. I like that idea. I'm going to go with that. So now I'm going to cut all this out. So this is what we have got. Obviously done my, my rounded corners as I like them. Um, I had an off cut of piano, pia, piano, piano hinge. <laughs> I had an off cut of a piano hinge, and it's it's absolutely the perfect size. And this is the the desk. I'm so happy I've done it this size. It's really good. You can easily get round it if this is hanging down as well. So yeah, really happy with that. And then what I wanted to show you what I'm doing now is putting this board on the side here I've still got to throw a planer down this edge just to get rid of any wobbles from the jigsaw so what I've done is just marked every 100mm I've done the same on here every 100mm and now I'm just getting my tape measure and just sort of measuring each mark to help me get the scribe as we go up so I'm just going to do that now and, and fit it. <laughs> Look at what I've created. That's amazing. Let's see if she fits. It's not going to fit first time, Ken. Thank you, Dorish. Oh, fair play, Cam. Well done, mate. side it's all scribed in and then I left a little bit of room around this just because of any like rubbing or friction when you're driving uh, put a little shelf in here that's the door and then that's the shelf for just above the wheel arch obviously this has all got to come back out so I'm not worried about fitting it all yet and again yeah just one full shelf across here you could probably stuff some shoes in here to be honest books laptops something like that but yeah that will go all over i'll leave that arch like that so if you're stuffing stuff in there you can get all in there i'm moving on to the drawers which you're gonna have two one one drawer there one drawer there put out kitchen drawer there and i'll probably start on that one first so i did it again and i've just cut everything that i need uh, I didn't film it because it was just starting to drizzle. Uh, so it's been on and off all day, which hasn't been ideal, but everything is basically cut now. You know me, you know, you've seen me cut wood before, so yeah, you haven't missed much. All of this is for the two drawers there. All of this is for the put out kitchen. Uh, these little panels are going behind here, where I've done like the the rebates and everything it's just going to sit nicely in there 
Uh, I am a little bit short. There is two panels over here. Here. Um, I don't have enough of that, but that's fine. I can buy a little sheet of six mil. So out of this whole build, everything has basically been leftover material from Kevlar. Um, I think the only thing I'm going to have to buy is a small sheet of six mil ply. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, everything is cut. Just wanted to get all the noisy stuff out of the way today. Um, tomorrow we might start preparing to paint. Uh, but we are going to have to go to a garage to get the van cleaned because I can't do it here with a hose pipe van, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, really really happy with today. Done quite a lot. Um, got all the cutting out of the way. Yeah, I'm going to go pick up Rachel now and have a nice relaxed evening. Piano hinge. <laughs> <laughs> 